Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to R Factor for another video. Now, some of you may remember a couple of months ago, I put up a video summing up my top five favorite cars in sim racing. At the head of that list was the BMW M1 from the DRM mod, what you're seeing on your screen now. And I realized uh, aside from that video, I've never actually uh, done a video with that car on this channel. So today is the day we fix that. What I'm going to be doing is a 10 lap race around 75 Anderstorp. Um, a really fun little circuit for this car, really plays to the strengths of this car. Of course, this uh, M1 has massive straight line speed, pretty quick in the corners as well, but the straight line speed I think is unparalleled, even against the 935, which is no slouch. And the AI are on 110% difficulty, so it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Of course, I'm using full heel and toe as well, so it's going to be a bit of a workout, but I'm really looking forward to doing it. On the grid then, in our BMW M1 Turbo, listen to the cacophony of turbo noises as we rev up to start of the race and there are lights and away we go try and be as careful as possible in the revs there because engine life is a big thing in this mod and away we go down the t1 for the first time boxed in behind the lance here with 320 on the outside gonna try and sneak up the inside thank you very much sir easy here the big old bump on the exit of this corner there it is right on the inside lance here there now on the outside i'm gonna take the inside using that power advantage in the uh, m1 over the lance here AI sort of stumbling over each other here a little bit, so I'm going to be nice and patient. Up to P17 from P20 already, not a bad first couple of corners now up to T3. Early braking, the brakes on the M1 aren't the best in the world, so I've got to keep that in mind when any... Oh, jeez, putting in any sort of attempts to pass later on, but that is where the M1 uh, is best. is on power, very fast in a straight line, but it does mean we have very strange moments like that, very scary moments, and I keep it nice and easy through here in third. Nowhere I can go to save that engine, second gear... Ooh, to the inside, a little bit of a touch from the car from behind there. Having to wait my turn to get through that corner. And now for another sweeping right hander, and we finally get to unleash the legs on this thing. 750 horsepower on our 3 litre engine. See you later! <laughs> Look at the speed! Absolutely no chance of the Toyota behind us just then. Just been left for dead. Such ridiculous straight line speed. We have to brake so early to make up. Or to account for those awful breaks for the second to last corner. And now for the last corner you see the guys in front fighting. There's a Toyota Celica there of an awesome looking body kit on it and the pens all over as well just to make it even more sexy. Bad run for the guy out there. No, the fur can do through T1. Going to keep a wider line there, try and avoid that massive bump about there on the inside. Yep, managed to avoid it. Nice, okay. Revs are peaking there again. I've got to try and keep an eye on that. I don't want the car to blow up. So easy to do that in this mod. Anyone who's driven DRM before will know just how fragile the engines are in this thing. I think especially the M1 as well. The M1 and 935 are the ones that suffered from it the most. I must say, coming back to R Factor after a while out of it and coming back to drive DRM, of course, I still love this mod. I still think this car is my favourite in sim racing just because of the way it makes me feel when I drive it. But it is old and it does feel old as demonstrated there as some of the AI get a bit wrong going through that long sweeping right hand that you just sort of wish would end. Oh, 935 dead on the inside. <laughs> I get caught out of there by my right foot a little bit, but we're through up to P13. As I was saying, yeah, it does feel a little bit old. Some of the force feedback is a bit strange. I get a biff from the car behind. So we can do with this to shall we? So being held up a little bit by it. And then one of all things. Here's the straight line speed advantage. Gonna run out of road very soon though. I'm gonna back out of that because there is no road then. If you hit the grass, you are dying. M1 up the inside, biffs the Toyota. It's not just me getting bullied there, and I get overtaken as well. Jeez, you need to cover that inside, Jimmy. This AI, although they're a little bit scary, aren't afraid of an overtaken opportunity. Speaking of that, three wide then into T1. Oh, the 56, some of the cross. Don't hit me. Still there. I'm gonna have to take the extreme inside, which I really don't want to be on because that massive bump we discovered on T1. Nice and easy. Have to be nice and easy through here now. There's the bump. He's still side by side, two by two it seems. Going in to T2. Still there, I think. No, he's pulled in behind me now. Okay, good. Let me see up the inside the 58. Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, up to P11. Using that power there of the M1. Might be able to get past the Toyota. No, he can't again. I just can't. Any sort of late braking is not a thing in this car. The brakes really aren't hot at all. It's all power we have to overtake. The sort of mid corner speed here as I scare the Toyota wide. I'm up on the ramp. I don't want to be up on the hill there. Oh no, I don't want to be up on the hill. 
keep eating Fergus to save the end. There's nowhere I can go right now. I've got to sort of stay in line. Biffed again by the Toyota. AI in RF1 can be a little bit aggressive sometimes. Sort of just pretend you're up there. There's a 58 Texas both there. Takes advantage of our, our squabbling to get by. And now four M1s in the line. And look in the mirrors. Well, you can't see it anymore, but Toyota is already gone. Got a bit of sit screen as well, so we might get a chance to get past the guy in front. Starting to pull, starting to pull, starting to pull. Got a break. Ah, flip through the floor. And just about through. He's side by side with us. <laughs> that was scary. I didn't mean to go that deep into the braking zone, but we just managed to live. You saw my foot was pretty much through the floor there on the brake, trying to slow this thing down. Again, being nice and easy on the... Uh, on the engine on the downshift i'm trying not to over rev it at all so conscious that at any point i can just blow this engine up waiting nice and late to do my downshifts we've been gone to the back of these m1s in front shall we up to p10 those the top 10 going well so far oh a bit deep there into t4 going to be so careful doing that that's t3 isn't it Sort of, I forget what uh, where I am on this circuit sometimes. It's not a circuit that I've driven a lot, but uh, I've driven a lot today in this car. It's a pretty cool combination. Ah, again, trying to get the car. Just turned in there, but the front tyre is scrubbing down the first gear for a second, just to try and get a little bit of speed out there. Losing a little bit of ground to the guys in front. In that sweeping section. Don't go off there. It's a very bad place to go off, just about managed to avoid it. Sideways, sideways, sideways. Sideways! <laughs> What a blast this car is! Scary, but a blast. We've got to try and focus on catching these guys up front. Come on, Jimmy. I remember the first time I tried braking to that corner, I braked where the black mark started, and I just, I just did not stop. <laughs> I went straight into the wall on the outside. Use the runoff there on the outside to try and gain a bit of time. The gap in front is about one and a half seconds, as you can see it visibly. I'm going to try and bring it down a little bit. Not too far on the inside. I'm trying to be nice and smooth through there. That big bump on the inside really scaring me again. I don't want to go over that for two reasons. One, that will throw my car out of control. And two, the revs will rise. It's just another opportunity for the engine to go pop. You really don't want... I think the guys in front are fighting a bit because we're starting to gain. You can line through there. Just sticking a wheel onto the, uh, the grass to... Hook it in, seem to work. Things a little bit of a Jimmy train at the moment. Come on, turn in, please. We're in front, bigger train happening, so it looks like we're all catching the guys in front. A couple of 935s, they're going a little bit slowly. I've noticed the 935s being a little bit weird around the circuit sometimes, so that could be a reason. Are we catching up? Really being held up in front. I'm going to take advantage of that. Damn right I am. They're around the outside, and look, 935 on the right, that is a fast car, and we're just pulling past it with the M1 Turbo, even with a little bit of short shifting as well. There's so much more speed in this M1. Easy on the downshifts, up to P7 now because of that little bit of a gaggle we came across. Let that run off again, I can see the guys in front, they're so close now. Sure, if I can maybe try something at T1, yeah, let me cheek up the inside. No, I have to get off the throttle there. This big old bumzilla is going to get us. Nearly got me there. Stayed at 9,000 RPM for a second there. That's not what I really want. So cautious of this engine, man, I can't tell you. Oh, no. The car on our inside. I've got to wait now as well. I've got to wait behind these guys. There goes the M1. I don't want to try and risk late braking today. I was like right up the tailpipe there. You can see the charred bumper on the rear of that thing as we go back up the inside there. It takes a bit of the outside line. Not really a quick way to take that corner so I'm going to take advantage of that. Have the first gear just for the one out of here. Nice and soft on the front of there. All of me, all of me able to smash the front out there but I know if I do that, make a mistake. No, 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 no. Okay. This is good. We're fine. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That corner always gets me. Loose, lots of places there. 
But here we go, I guess this is going to be the last couple of laps. Banzai edition. Down the P12 now. Easy. Every single lap run off there, trying to just open the steering as quick as I can, just to try and get as much traction as possible. Another lap down. And see how many places we've lost here. Nice and soft again, hitting that bump. Just trying to focus on the car in front, thinking about where I can pass. And I can be a bit quick through here if I can just keep the inside line right. It's a big bump that sort of upsets me a little bit. There it is. Sideways there on the exit. Gonna maybe try and move up the inside here. Maybe, sorry. We're through. <laughs> We're alive. Oh no. Oh man, again, that wasn't on purpose. Oh, M1 off. What, what is Salika doing? Salika! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we get hit wide. Don't know where to go in the pit lane. No, 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 no. Still going, still going. Okay, this got scary quickly. P10! <laughs> After that. Come on, keep it tight. I told you that I do wacky things in this sometimes. And there is. Proof of it. Up into the top 10 again, though. Car still going, just about. All the dials read okay from what I can see. I can't see it wanting to blow up anytime soon. He says that. Watch me now blow it up. Into the second to the last corner. That's a bit of a scary downshift in third, actually saying that. Is that run off there because I suck at getting that car turned in? Hey, I take a very odd line through here. Seem to make it work, though. Another lap down. Can't be too many left now. Ways we're probably on the second and the last lap at this point. Trying to get the car on front on nicely through there. Oh, we get a nice run through there. Run up behind ninth place now. Nothing I can do. Go away. Come on now. Uh, inside. Smashing the throttle, but the rear tyres just not complying. Probably heated up a little bit after my excursion. Over the last couple of laps up the inside without killing someone nice. Our first time we actually out break someone. I'm sort of impressing myself. And further through here just to save the engine. Nice needs another yellow flag. Is there another dead car somewhere? And one's going one. M1 goes off. Porsche off as well. Up to P7. AI just not having fun with that corner, it seems. Top six is now right in front of us. 56 car, nice and easy off there. I get a good run. Squeeze the throttle and exit. Not a bad run. Right on the back of the guy in front. Gonna go to the inside, I think. Give it a go, I suppose. And then on the brakes. Oh, contact! He comes across. Somehow we're alive. I go from fifth to second gear. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Inside. Thank you very much, son. Up to P6, top six. Old F1 points. I guess we aren't on the last lap just yet. So another couple of laps to go. Can we catch this Salika in front though? I know the M1 is fast around here, but I'm not sure how fast it is compared to a Salika. Salika's sort of a jack of all trades when it comes to DRM. Fast in the corners and on the brakes and in the straight line. The M1 is just a straight line beast. I mean, sort of semi-cautious on the brakes. Still getting it wrong. Oh, <laughs> AI is really pressuring me behind. It wants to get back through as soon as it can. Try and get the rear to slide a little bit through here. You can see all the tyre marks from where AI have had various excursions over the course of this race. Oh, no, I just got that really wrong now. I... I lifted off just to try and break, but I wasn't going as fast as I thought it was. This car requires so much energy <laughs> to drive at the moment. I'm sweating here. Looked in my mirrors just trying not to crash <laughs> at the same time as trying not to blow up the engine. I'm trying to talk about it at the same time. It's very tiring. I'll tell you that now. Brake. The brakes are not working. A little bit of a frame dip there as well. I'm not quite sure what happened. My brakes just did not work going into there. Maybe brakes heating up a little bit, I don't really know. Come on. 
Good back pass is going from all my top six. Big old dips it. Try to avoid. There it is. Oh, the guy in front of the house is pulling away from me. Come on. Get him. Ah, no. No, we blew it up. Damn you. This is what I was talking about. God damn it. Just too high on the revs and the engine blows. Guys, you have had the full DRM experience today. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that right now. Well, not quite how I want to finish the race, but there we are then, guys. That was DRM in the BMW M1 at 75 at Hansa's top. And I got made to look silly there. I'm sweating away. This car is such a handful. It hasn't aged particularly well, if I'm honest. But I still love it. It's still great to drive. Let's find out where we finish, shall we? Well, when I say find out when we finished, I meant how far or how close we were to the end. And look, we were on the last lap and we blew up. Welcome to the DRM experience. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. It was really cool to come revisit this after a while. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.